Imagine the internet as a bustling city, teeming with activity and constant movement. Data packets are like cars, constantly moving through streets called networks, each with its own unique path and destination. But how do these cars know where to go? That's where network protocols come in, acting as the city's navigation system. They are the traffic signals and road signs of the internet, guiding data to its destination efficiently and safely. Ethical hackers are like city planners, meticulously studying the layout and flow of the digital city. They need to understand how these protocols work to identify vulnerabilities and secure systems, ensuring everything runs smoothly. Just as a city planner looks for traffic bottlenecks or unsafe intersections, ethical hackers use their knowledge of network protocols to spot weaknesses in systems, preventing potential issues. By understanding these digital rules, ethical hackers can anticipate potential problems and develop solutions to keep data safe, much like city planners design safer roads. They can also use this knowledge to test the effectiveness of existing security measures and identify areas for improvement, ensuring the digital city remains secure. In essence, network protocols are the secret language of the Internet, and ethical hackers are skilled linguists who use this knowledge to protect and defend our digital world, ensuring its safety and integrity. Think of TCP IP as the fundamental building blocks of the Internet. These protocols are essential for the seamless operation of our digital world. These protocols are like the foundation and framing of a house, providing the structure for everything else. Just as a house needs a solid base to stand, the Internet relies on TCP IP to function smoothly. TCP IP stands for Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol. These two protocols work in tandem to ensure data is sent and received accurately. TCP is like a reliable postal service. It ensures that your data, much like a letter, reaches its intended destination without any loss. When you send a letter, you expect it to arrive at its destination. Similarly, TCP guarantees that data packets are delivered correctly and in the right order. TCP ensures that data packets are delivered reliably across the Internet. It checks for errors and ensures that all parts of the data arrive intact. It does this by establishing a connection between two devices and checking that all the data arrives in order. This connection is crucial for maintaining the integrity of the information being transferred. IP, on the other hand, is like the addressing system. It assigns a unique address to each device, ensuring that data knows exactly where to go. Each house has a unique address, and IP provides a unique address for every device on the Internet. This unique addressing is what makes it possible for data to find its way to the correct device. This ensures that data packets are delivered to the correct location. Without IP, data would be lost in the vast expanse of the Internet. Together, TCP and IP work together seamlessly to ensure that data can be transmitted reliably and accurately across the vast network of the Internet. They complement each other perfectly, creating a robust system for digital communication. They are the unsung heroes of the digital age, enabling everything from browsing the web to streaming videos. Without them, our modern digital experiences would not be possible. HTTP and HTTPS are the protocols that govern how we browse the web. They are like the rules of the road for websites, ensuring smooth communication between your browser and the websites you visit. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Imagine HTTP as a conversation between you and a website. You request a web page, and the website responds by sending you the necessary files. HTTPS, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, is like having that same conversation but in a secure, encrypted channel. Think of HTTPS as a secret code that only you and the website understand. This encryption ensures that your data, such as passwords and credit card information, is protected from eavesdroppers. Always look for the HTTPS in the website address bar to ensure you are browsing securely. This simple check can make all the difference in protecting your online privacy and security. DNS, or Domain Name System, is like the Internet's phone book. It translates human-readable domain names like Google.com into numerical IP addresses that computers understand. 
Imagine trying to remember a string of numbers for every website you visit. Instead of remembering complex IP addresses, you can simply type in a domain name and DNS will do the rest. It acts as a directory service, connecting the domain name you enter with the corresponding IP address of the server hosting that website. This process happens behind the scenes every time you browse the web, making it possible to navigate the vast expanse of the internet without memorizing countless IP addresses. DNS is an essential component of the internet's infrastructure, ensuring that we can connect to websites easily and efficiently. Section 5. SSH, FTP and Email. Tools for Remote Access and Data Transfer. SSH, FTP and email protocols are essential for remote access and data transfer, forming the backbone of modern digital communication. These protocols enable us to connect to servers, transfer files, and communicate electronically, making remote work and data sharing seamless. SSH, or Secure Shell, is like a secure tunnel that allows you to access a remote computer, ensuring that your connection is encrypted and safe. It's like having a secret passageway into another computer, allowing you to control it remotely, as if you were sitting right in front of it. FTP, or File Transfer Protocol, is like a digital courier service, allowing you to send and receive files over the internet efficiently and reliably. Email protocols such as SMTP, POP3, and IMAP govern how email is sent, received, and stored, ensuring that our communications are well organized these protocols ensure that our electronic messages are delivered reliably and securely to their intended recipients, protecting sensitive information. Ethical hackers use these protocols to manage remote servers, transfer files securely, and investigate email-related security incidents, ensuring robust cybersecurity. By understanding how these protocols work, they can ensure that data is transferred securely and that systems are protected from unauthorized access maintaining the integrity of our digital infrastructure. Section 6 ICMP – Pinging the Network ICMP or Internet Control Message Protocol is like the Internet's echolocation system. It allows devices to send control and error messages, helping to diagnose network problems. One of the most common uses of ICMP is the ping command. When you ping a device, you're essentially sending out a signal and waiting for a response. If the device receives the signal, it sends back a reply, confirming that it's online and reachable. This is like shouting into a canyon and listening for an echo. Ethical hackers use ICMP to test network connectivity, identify active hosts on a network, and troubleshoot network issues. It's a valuable tool for network reconnaissance and diagnosis, helping to ensure that networks are functioning correctly and securely. Section 7, ARP. Mapping the network neighborhood. ARP, or Address Resolution Protocol, is like a neighborhood watch program for your local network. It helps devices on the same network find each other by mapping IP addresses to MAC addresses. Think of your IP address as your home address, and your MAC address as your unique fingerprint. ARP helps devices on the same network know who's who by associating these two addresses. When a device wants to communicate with another device, it uses ARP to find the corresponding MAC address. While ARP is essential for local network communication, it can also be exploited by attackers. Ethical hackers need to understand how ARP works to identify and prevent ARP spoofing attacks where an attacker intercepts network traffic by impersonating another device. Section 8. VPN Tunneling to Security VPN, or Virtual Private Network, is like creating a secret tunnel for your internet traffic. It encrypts your connection and routes it through a secure server, protecting your data from eavesdroppers and cyber criminals. Imagine you're sending a confidential letter through a public mailbox. With a VPN, it's like putting that letter in a special locked mailbox that only the intended recipient can open. This is especially important when using public Wi-Fi networks, which are often unsecured. Ethical hackers use VPNs to protect their privacy while conducting security assessments. They also recommend VPNs to individuals and organizations as an essential tool for enhancing online security and privacy. Section 9 firewalls, 
The Guardians of the Network Firewalls are like the security guards of your network, controlling incoming and outgoing traffic based on predefined rules. They act as a barrier between your network and the outside world, blocking unauthorized access and malicious traffic. Think of a firewall as a security checkpoint at the entrance of a building. It checks the credentials of everyone who wants to enter, only allowing authorized personnel through. Firewalls work in a similar way, examining network traffic and blocking anything that doesn't meet the specified security criteria. Ethical hackers use their knowledge of firewalls to test the effectiveness of network security measures. They also help organizations configure and manage their firewalls to ensure that their networks are adequately protected against cyber threats.